Hey guys, Anthony Beckham here, and we are at the Colliding Rivers Viewpoint to give you the neighborhood tour of Glide, Oregon. As far as I'm concerned, Glide, Oregon is the recreational capital of Douglas County with plenty of recreational area along the Umpqua for camping, hiking, waterfalls, swimming, fishing, and more. Chances are, if you're looking for some outdoor fun this summer, you will be passing through Glide, Oregon. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Glide, Oregon is a small town with a population of less than 1,500 and is located 18 minutes east of Roseburg off of the Highway 138, a scenic byway. Now, Highway 138 is the route that you would take if you were gonna go visit, say, Diamond Lake, La Mola Lake, or the most recognized attraction, Crater Lake. For those that live in Roseburg and Douglas County, Glide and the Umpqua National Forest are gonna be where you wanna go for camping. And there are plenty of campgrounds to choose from out here. One of the first things that I recommend for people that are new to the area is to get out and check out our local waterfall hikes. And there are so many to choose from near or passing through Glide, Oregon. Wolf Creek Falls, Susan Creek Falls, Fall Creek Falls, Grotto Falls, Yaxo Falls, just to name a few favorites close by. For many of the locals that live here in Glide, they're gonna be making the commute to Roseburg for work, which is that 18 minute drive to town on that nice wide four lane highway. Roseburg is also where you'd probably go for most of your major shopping with big box stores like Walmart, Costco, Lowe's, and Home Depot. But one thing locals don't have to commute for is food. With places like the Adam Bistro and Coffee Bar, the Colliding Rivers Drive-In, and 138 Grill. We featured a lot of places on the channel, but I'd have to say I would put 138 Grill at the top of the list of places that we've gone so far. And I would recommend going and checking it out. They have a lot of fun things on the menu. I would never pick strawberry on my own. I would never pick churro on my own, but that dessert that I just had, I just ate the whole dang thing. And uh, you gotta try it, you gotta check it out. Another desirable location here in Glide is the Little River and Cavett Creek areas. This is where you're gonna find a lot of great swim holes and a lot of good hiking trails. There's a good mix of homes out here and if you're lucky, you may even get waterfront. There's a lot of waterfront homes that are right here on both Little River and Cavett Creek. Both of these waterways are fed by the snowpack, and while the waters are a little bit colder, they offer a good flow for outdoor recreation throughout the summer. One popular neighborhood here in Glide, Oregon is the Bar L Ranch subdivision. This subdivision is five plus acre properties that are in the densely wooded forest-like area. So you have some seclusion, some privacy from your neighbors. And if you're able to get one of the homes that's up towards the top of Bar L Ranch, there's a good chance you're gonna have some beautiful views of the valley.
Between Roseburg and Glide, there are also the North Bank, Wild River Drive, and Whistler's Bend areas, which have a lot of higher end homes, mini homes with North Umpqua River frontage and small acreage properties. So come check out all that Glide Oregon has to offer. And if you yourself are thinking about moving to the beautiful state of Oregon, give me a call, shoot me a text. I would love to hear from you guys and we'll be seeing you on the next one. See ya.